This will give you an idea. First three starts, rough, you know, four and a third innings. Last four starts, so five and two thirds. The velo's coming back. Today was his best. Frank, you know, what was it today that you liked? Or what is it about him being back home in Chicago? Well, he's going maybe- to be throwing on the side, on the south side, every time he gets back there. He didn't want to leave there. Uh, he was some kind of pitcher there. Uh, so many multiple all-star teams. Uh, if he's healthy, I'm not worried about Chris Sell because he's one of the best I've ever seen do it. Uh, but last year he pitched for the first time deep in October, and I'm sure fatigue and hangover was there for him. But what I saw today was a normal Chris Sell. Big sl- breaking uh, slider down and in, fastball 95. He was painting, he was spotting. Watch out. Yeah, I, I agree with what Frank said. I, you know, you, you go through a, a long season like Chris did last year and through all those innings. And, of course, you know, it pitched deep into October. You know, it takes a little time, especially those power guys. It takes a little time to get your command back, get your, get your velocity back. And so you got you to, gotta, you know, use your control, use your command of your pitches. Tonight, he had the slider who was coming back, velocity was up. He's going to be fine. What were you looking for more? Was it the velocity or the command tonight? Well, I, you know, for me, I haven't, you know, I know he's gotten off to a rough start. And I think if, if he starts commanding his pitches, you know, where he, what he wants to do with them, sometimes you just got to be a command guy when you, as you're trying to build up your arm strength again. And, but tonight, I saw him throw 94, 95 tonight, so you know the velocity's coming. And when that comes back and, and the command of that slider comes back, he's, he's going to take off. Now, listen, Frank's feeling pretty good. The White Sox have walked off three of their last six games, Frank. Mm. They got some work to do, though. Yeah, it, it would be a huge effort if they did it tonight. You know, we talk about the Cubs, Frank. Remember, we were we, we were talking so much first couple weeks. Are we worried about them? What's going on? What were they? Two and seven, two mm-hmm. and eight. Um, so, how much do you think this series against the first place Cardinals did they need confidence wise? They need this. They they've hit their stride. They've won 15 out of 20 of their 20 last games. They're starting pitching. They took over. They started pitching deep in the ball games. They knew they were having problems in the bullpen. But all of their starters have, have held this team accountable. And they and the, and the rest of his office has jumped on the starters back. But they do have great veteran starters who can get it done. Mm-hmm. And they proved themselves for the season for the Cubs. You know, it's interesting. So coming out of that hole, here they are. Look, they've been in the playoffs every year under Joe Madden, right, Terry? And I'm just curious from a manager perspective. Obviously, you know Joe Madden. He was on your bench when you were here managing in Anaheim. He doesn't have a contract for next year. It's rare, as you know. Usually you extend the guy so it's not that you don't have the whole, the whole lame duck thing. And I'm curious, the biggest challenges for him in that spot with that situation this year? Well, if you know, if you know Joe Madden, he's not going to be upset by not having a contract. This guy has got great confidence in what he, do, what he does, what he brings to the team. He's got a veteran club. They've won. All his job is right now is to keep the, keep the attitude up and keep it positive. He's not going to change anything. They're going to still have the loud music during batting practice. They're still going to bring the zoo animals in to pet once in a while. He, <laughs> Joe is not changing. Joe is not going to change. He's not worried about anything. And if for some strange reason he's not the manager of the Chicago Cubs next year he'll have another uniform on from somebody else yeah there you go what's looked like the message has been calm Cubs are playing really really well 